Alright, hey what's up Jags, Jag43 here, to bring you some more Crash to Insanity. In the last episode we got to the Cavern ca Catastrophe after finishing the tutorial and the first boss. Oh, Hold on, the brightness is... The brightness is a no. That'll have to. Okay. So again, we're in this lonely section. Well, it's a little bit off with the control, but I mean, it's still really fun and fast paced. You're supposed to do this quickly, and those are collectibles. Those are like colored crystals. Okay. Oh, we're going this way. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 oh, God. And there we go. Nope, let's try this one. Oh, God, nope, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. oh. Bad nitro. Bad. Sit. Stay. Out of my way. Haha. <laughs> oh goodness. There we go. Oh, no. As it, as it, as it. Check one, check one. Please, please, please. This is probably my least favorite part just because it's, for me, when I was a kid, it was just so annoying. Is such an annoying part for me With, because of that when I was a kid when I was younger I mean I'm still a kid and then the fact that you can't skip this to just go on and try again is kind of annoying well well a power crystal yoink and This is loud. Oh, goodness, and you would miss a lot like that. No. Screw off. Screw off, off, off. Yeah. It's just so annoying when that happens. Goodness, dude, well, please. Well, please. A power crystal. Yoink. Okay, and cue the drop of death. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Now, so we... No, 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 no. Wampa fruit. Please put it. That tutorials. No, 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 no. Okay, can I find an aqua after that? I can. Yay. Good. Good. Kill all of the buttons. No. That's right. Screw you. I'm done with you. And then there you go. You belly flop on all of the buttons. Yes. And it's the gone. It runs is away mine. in fear. Shiny. Ah, keep back, you weak-minded fool. Avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy. <laughs> Give it to me. And then we can collect all these wonderful boxes. Wonderful fruit boxes. Nope. Yeah, so this is the key mechanic of the entire game. That's why it's called Twin Sanity, as well as other plot related reasons that I will not get into. Because plot. So, pretty much, key mechanic of the game is that you and Cortex, Crash and Cortex, are. have to work together, and this is how you do it by dragging him along by a crystal. And then. yeah, you can. Use various different moves by using Cortex, such as throwing him to get to other platforms. And if you throw him near switches that he can activate, he will actually activate the switches or run over to them. You can also use him to turn cranks. Use Cortex to spin the red cranks. Spinny, spinny, spinny. This is the uh, if we See, those switches. Throw me over there. Trust me. We're pals, right? right. You can throw him by jumping in that circle, throw him your switch, he'll activate the switch. And those are what his switches look like, except for yeah, those are oh, and then he teleports back to you. And then gravity. Because uh This is pretty much the main gimmick of the game, is this one the other kind of mini game like stuff, but this is the main gimmick. Like here you can use it to collect a crystal. Oh yeah, he also shoots any enemies near him after you throw him. So that's a plus. He's like your scout, he's like your invincible, vulnerable, um, life using scout. Which is a plus. But you also, oh god. <laughs> you don't jump nearly as high when you have. Oh no, 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 up, 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 up. When you have him with you. Because you're literally just dragging him along. And then here we go again with the rolling mechanic. Good thing I collected a hundred wampa fruit. So yeah, just like in Mario, if you collect a hundred wampa fruit, you get a free life. Oh, an extra lad. Life. Uh, oh. So close. Yet so far. Nope, 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 stay. Nope. Swerve. Swerve. Use your swerving powers. are probably the parts that I have to replay the most the entire game is because of stuff like that. <laughs> because I'm bad at these. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Well, no, I'm already down to... Well, I was down to two lives. 
now I'm still down to only three. Oh, 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 I missed the box. Three lives, which is no bueno. But luckily that was a shorter bit. You can also use him like a hammer. Nope. You can also throw him off edges if you really get mad at him. But if you use circle with Vortex, you can use him like a hammer to smash these boxes so you don't have to um, pretty much ground pound them to get them to work. You can also use him for this crystal mechanic. <laughs> use his head as a... Hello. This flat little head is your hammer to use. To love and to hold and to use. Oh, goodness, no, 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 no. Okay. Now, here's a fast paced part. Because we there we go. Chase scene of the vertical variety. Where you have to hit these crystals. You cannot miss or your screw. The crystals make the drill go backwards. So yeah, to actually give you a chance of getting out of here alive. And sometimes the hitbox on the crystals is really wonky and annoying. Which, that's why I would dread that part as a kid. As when I was little. Oh, goodness. And yes, you will always have these sections where he pretty much says, Screw you, I'm teleporting ahead. Of course, it's you to do everything else. Action boxes. They do things like that. Usually just set off explosions for you, so from a safe distance. Just like these guys. And death may rain upon the... Oh, I wasted that one. <laughs> and... Sequence breaking, sort of. Oh. Yeah, if you spin... Attack the warp floating warp of fluid, it'll send them away and into oblivion, which is something you want to avoid as much as possible. You can also spin attack the triggers if you are in a situation where it would not be smart to jump on it. Which there are situations where it's stupid as heck to try and jump on it, it's better just to spin it. We made it out alive. And plot. I was More plot. In there. How are you fools? Before the awesome might of the evil twins. Aren't you too adorable? Let me see. I might have some chalky treats here for you. Chalky treats? Oh, oh. <laughs> some good news and some bad. Bad news? We're going to destroy your precious islands. The good. You won't be around to see it. Come tiresome. Oh, you want to play mind games? Okay, tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play mind games. Oh, man. I can't even make these jokes because they're already making screaming. them for me. So I can't even just make those jokes because the game already makes them for me. That is the fantastic humor of this game. It just goes on throughout the entire entirety of it and it is beautiful and I love it so much. Anyways, yes, it is unlike its brethren more less of the linear variety. So now I can just pretty much walk around. Oh, hold on. All I want to do things 
things and collect these gems. These gems you can see in your little sidebar over there. And I believe there is... Yep. So each chapter has its own set amount of gems. And you can see them here on this screen. You've got the Insanity Isle, which is probably where we are now. The Jungle Bungle, which was the first level. And then the Cavern Catastrophe. So each level or each little section will have six crystals to collect throughout the entire level throughout the entire bit and yeah you can just go around or you can just completely ignore them and just go about doing the story which is what I usually end up doing but I, I don't know maybe one of these days I'll complete the game and you usually have a nice little wampa trail to lead you to where the story is. And I will point out crystals when I can see them. In case you decide you want to go do crystals. Because usually I see them, I just don't immediately see the way to get them, so I just kind of say screw it. So. I might as well point them out. You know, see them. But you know, I think I'm gonna try to get this crystal. So that. that and then you can use these blocks. These metal boxes with air up arrows are obviously jump pad like things. And you can Usually there's small little puzzles like that to collect the crystals. Naturally they get progressively harder and more convoluted as you go about throughout the game. And I will see you guys next time when we go into the depths. Deep into the depths of this little cavern here. And oh goodness does it look dangerous. Anyways, see you ne next time. Then all of the...